Hey tribe, welcome to Mama Roots Kitchen. This is a place where we transform all the vegetables that we grow in the garden into something that we can eat. Today, I'm going to be showing you how we prepare cowpea leaves. This is known as war in limbum. That's the language spoken by my ancestors. Um, cowpea leaves are edible. It is called war in limbum and they are actually quite nutritious. They are very rich in protein. It is a vegetable that has a higher amount of protein compared to many other vegetables. So it can be eaten like green like this, but in the Wimboom tribe, it is converted into something, which is what I'm going to show you today. Um, first, you blanch the vegetables and then you dry the leaves. That way you come up with something that is dehydrated, but already cooked. And what that does is it renders the leaves more tender when you further cook it into something else. I'm going to take you through the entire process and show you exactly how it is done. Caveat, disclaimer, this is my first time actually doing this. Thanks to my mom, she is on the phone sharing with me how to do it. So first, of course, we harvest the wire already. Make sure you get the tender leaves. I already harvested it and it's washed. It's been washed already. So I'm gonna go ahead and remove these tougher stems and just leave just the leaves. I don't want, yeah. Okay, so we, we're picking the tender stems. I'll leave them on, but we just want the leaves. So this is the war. I have picked the tougher stems from it. This is all washed and ready to go. The next step is to bring some water to a boil. Actually, you should use a stainless steel pot. If you can, don't mind the discoloration. So I'm going to season the water, just a little bit of water with some salt season the water with some salt and then now I am going to put the wire inside and then blanch it but cook it we want to cook it so that it is tender but not too soft we'll figure out that middle point together Probably the water was too much. <laughs> but that's okay. We're gonna drain drain the water out. Look at that intense green color. So you want to do this on a day when there's sunlight outside. A lot of sun because we're going to sun dry the vegetables once we're done parboiling, blanching. So you want to do it in the morning and then let it dry for one day for the best flavor and taste. Don't do this in the evening and then dry it the next day. It will have a funky smell and taste, says my mom. So I'm just going to go by taste. I'll put this in my mouth and see if it's tender enough. Maybe let it boil for another minute. Don't forget the salt. Don't forget to season it. Cowpea leaves are very difficult to cook. <laughs> they don't just go soft like the other leaves. I think that's because of the high protein content. Yeah, it's still tough. But we're gonna cook this until it's soft. And then we'll take it and drain it and then do this before drying it. It's kind of twisted like that. Then they dry it. Rub it between your fingers. So next we're going to drain that. There's a colander right there. I'm going to let it cool down for a little bit. 
and then I will sit see it. That's how they say in Limbun sit see. Just meaning that we are is it massaging? I don't know. But we wanna twist the leaves a little. But this is too hot. Right. So now it's time to roll our wire. I just got this big one here. Okie doke. Now I'm going to try to spread it out and then go and put it under the sun to dry. Okie doke. The sun is not as hot today, but we'll see if this dries up by evening. 